Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to take out a loan using decentralized finance with Comp token, which has gone up an incredible hundreds of percentage this year. And I'll walk you guys through by taking out a loan and tell you guys some of the roadblocks I encountered and how I got over it. So hit that thumbs up button. Historically, I found it very tempting to sell Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency whenever it went up. I sold at 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 10,000, 15,000, and even 35,000 earlier this year. So, in an effort to reduce that and also have money to trade with, I, th I think DeFi is a solution for that. If you're in the same boat, whether you want to save and invest at the same time um, or just not sell as often, I think DeFi might be great. To get started, you're going to need some cryptocurrency. If you don't have cryptocurrency, I have some link below where you can get some cryptocurrency. Compound supports four wallets. I suggest using MetaMask. It's completely universal and you can use it for other projects. I use that and in this video I use Coinbase Wallet because it's super easy to use and I can send cryptocurrency from my Coinbase quickly. The terms of the loans are quite simple. There's a interest that you have to pay back and if you supply $1,000 you can't borrow $1,500. Your collateral will get liquidated if you reach 100% of the borrow limit. On the other hand, if the supply token, like my Ethereum, increases in price, the amount I have to pay back may or may not go down. Finally, you have to enable the currency that you'll be supplying to the market, which does cost some minor fees. I started by sending 0.7 Ether to my cold storage Coinbase wallet, after which I went over to Compound and enabled Ethereum staking, which also costs some monies. So guys, now I'm going to actually supply uh, 0.7 of, um, into the market, and then I just press supply, and then once I click confirm, I would just need to go over to the Coinbase wallet and confirm the transaction. Okay, so I've just confirmed it and the transaction is taking place. I can check it out here on Etherscan and it looks like it's pending. Okay, so it looks like it took about eight minutes. I wasn't paying attention. I was playing Call of Duty, but the uh, status is not complete. And I should be able to see the ether and use it as collateral. Now, for another transaction to make ether into a loan. And then finally, to take out a loan on um on the ether so i will take out a loan on usd coin bat so i can borrow seven hundred dollars or i can borrow let's look at borrow rates So it looks like the USD coin the borrow rate has been going up and down anywhere from 3% in February 27th to, oh wow, it jumped from 5% to 13%. Seems kind of high. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and borrow a maximum.
But then this is when all the problems began. In an effort to recoup some of the transaction cost, I thought it'd be wise to reduce the gas fee. Two hours later. At first I tried with a low gas fee and it didn't go through. After doing some searching around, I found out that there's one way to get rid of stuck transactions, and that's to send another transaction request with the same nunts. Nunts is like a channel for order of, of importance. And then the second time I tried it again, with a little bit higher gas fee, it didn't go through as well. And the third time, I went with the suggested gas fee. It did go through, but this is very important. The previous transactions with zero ether were not refunded. So guys, as you can see here, after a while, the transaction finally went through and it says I borrowed 794 in USD, which is 80% of something. Um, and this is the transaction right here. It says it's pending. Why is it pending? Why is it pending still? There's no, like I, it's not even in my account anymore. It really isn't. I actually send it to Coinbase. Anyways, that's a bad idea just because the transaction fees are ridiculous. But maybe in the future, the transaction fees would get better, I guess. But it's a, it's not it's not good right now. It's just not good. That's pretty much it, guys. If you like watching this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, bye. See ya. Shit.